My name is Richard Kerr. Um, during the day, um, I work as a program manager to help startups and entrepreneurs in Malaysia. But um, during my free time, I would spend time um, crafting something on social media to be shared and anything that's good news that can be shared to people. Well, I was inspired uh, to do this project um, a few months ago when Malaysia was having the uh, Paralympics in, in, in Rio. So back then, the, there was a some news that we see on Facebook that our Paralympians were winning a lot of medals. So I thought to myself, like, probably it's a good time to compile a list of these Paralympians and along with other people who have done great achievements uh, for the country. So that was the idea. And then I started uh, compiling the list, check on the internet, like all the, uh, these people who are um, making um, impact to the country and doing great stuff for the country. So I compiled in a list and curated the list and then I basically crafted them into like nice images that is suited for social media and I started posting them. So I chose the hero basically um, very with very basic requirement. I wanted to focus this to be like really for 2016 so that's how I chose them. So the heroes have varied backgrounds. They are as young as seven years old and people who are just doing simple things in life but actually giving impact to a lot of people. One of them, um, the heroes that I compiled um, is this guy uh, named Hasrula or his nickname is Adam. He was born with polio. He has no legs basically but then despite all the odds he attempted to climb Mount Kinabalu and he managed to reach the peak. Of course, from family, they, they were like, wow, it's, it's amazing stuff that you're doing. And then from friends and even from colleagues, they were like, oh, oh this is super inspiring. Like, you're doing stuff that people have not really done this before, like, especially on, on social media. Even from the public, the response was extremely encouraging. People like, thank you for this. It's, it's very inspiring. And because you were able to see when people share on Facebook, you're able to see what they actually write on their own Facebook. So even those messages are very inspiring. We see a lot of um, um, non-positive news um, all the time on, on social media. Uh, we just want to, people to, to be, try to be more focused on reading the positive messages as well, try to find news that are inspiring. That's one thing. And second thing is I hope that this project will actually do some amplification um, among people that they will do good things and try to um, inspire others uh, to do even greater things for, for Malaysia. And hopefully this list will actually um, grow next year, so hopefully people uh, will be inspired to do more great things and hopefully um, we'll be able to double the list maybe. We'll see how it goes.